Completing the square is the process of developing a perfect square trinomial so that you can solve a quadratic equation. Now the question is, why are we doing this in the first place? Just why are we doing this? Well, the reason really is fairly simple. The reason is we're trying to work to a way that we can deal with parabolas and find out as much information as we can about quadratics by going from either vertex form to standard form or back again. Now, earlier in the school year, I taught you how to go from vertex form, which can look like this, y is equal to uh, x plus 2, all squared, minus 3. This is the vertex form, and the vertex for this parabola is equal to negative 2, negative 3. But if we have this equation expressed in standard form, and standard form looks like this, ax squared plus bx plus c, we'll have some information about the parabola, but we won't be able to easily get the vertex. I showed you how to get it from this standard form, but completing the square allows us to go back and forth between these two forms of a parabola. So let's do a couple of problems so you can see how completing the square works to get us from a standard form back to vertex form. Okay. Our first equation is y is equal to x squared plus ax plus 5. Okay. In this form, we have the y-intercept information here. For this parabola, the y-intercept is 5. But now we want to find the vertex. We can go through the manipulations here, or we can simply complete the square and then have the vertex spill out as we convert this to vertex form. So here we go. All right, this doesn't work by itself. We say y plus something in a box is equal to x squared plus 8x plus something in a box plus 5. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to deal with this part right here, turn it into a perfect square trinomial. Half of 8x, 4. 4 squared is 16. Add 16 to both sides. There's no parentheses to influence this 16, so that's what it is on both sides. We have the x here. This is positive, so this is a positive inside the binomial. And it's all squared y plus 16 is equal to x plus 4, quantity all squared, plus 5. So we restated it like this. The next step is to get y by itself. So we will subtract 16 from both sides. And this side gives us the y by itself. So we get y is equal to x plus 4, quantity all squared. This becomes negative 11, and we're done. We now have vertex form for this parabola, which was expressed in standard form. The vertex here is opposite sign, negative 4, negative, same sign, negative 11. That's the vertex for this parabola expressed here in standard form. We only got there by completing the square.